welcome to another episode of Ribbit Gaming. Playing Devil May Cry Mission 3. Um, the reason it says the mission is in progress is because I did some test recordings earlier. Since the program I used to record videos with was updated. So let's get back into it. Remember this place? Yeah, I remember coming here. My mother used to bring us here. Tell me everything. Some things have always been. There have always been angels. There have always been demons. And they've always been at war. Nine millennia ago, one demon rose through the ranks to take power over the dark hordes. The strongest, the cruelest, Mundus. But Mundus did not rise alone. At his right hand was his most trusted lieutenant. His blood brother. Sparta. But Sparta betrayed him. He fell in love with an angel, Eva. The secret union between angel and demon was inconceivable. But it happened. And with it came new life. Twin boys. You and I. A hybrid of the warring angel and demon races. When Mundus learned of Sparta's betrayal, his fury knew no limit. He hunted the lovers down. Evil was murdered by his own hand. And for Sparta, he demanded a more brutal fate. Endless punishment and pain. But even as evil was destroyed, and Sparta was imprisoned for eternity, each knew that the seed for their revenge had already been sown. Because according to legend, the only beings that can slay a demon king are Nephilim, a hybrid of angel and demon. Those hybrids now exist, you and I. Mundus believed that only one child was born, but there were two Nephilim, and each had been hidden well. Sparta armed his sons. The Rebellion for Dante. The Yamato for Virgil. So, Mundus killed our mom and imprisoned our dad? Yes. And we're the offspring of angels and demons? Demon father, angel mother. We are Nephilim. The only ones that can slay the demon king. Good. How? Spotter. Fucking demon collaborators. You're being dragged into limbo. I'll find Kat. She'll get you out. Stand firm. So I must say that those were some pretty conveniently placed graffiti pictures. They suited. Virgil's story pretty well. So, for those wondering how the combat system works, it's pretty simple, really. Although it has depths. Depth. Um, basically, you use the triangle button if you're using a PS3 controller to do regular attacks, like this one, for example, and this. Then you have the circle button, which you do launches with, like that, and this, as well as these. So th these can be linked together pretty smoothly. The launches and the um, regular attacks. So like uh, the dream runners aren't the best monsters too 
demonstrate the combo system on because unless you parry them you can't really hit them that much. So let me take care of this guy. Oh god. There. You switch between the angel and demon weapons by holding L2 or R2. Basically, so if you're hitting with the regular button like this, then you can hold down R2, click triangle, and you get another attack. Regular combo attack. I'll have to find another way. And for those wondering, yes, I can actually jump right straight over there because I've already unlocked this ability. Uh, but I'm going to do the mission the proper way since I get more points that way, and also it's probably more enjoyable that way since, well. Otherwise, this episode will be like four minutes long. Yeah. So basically, I like click triangle a few times, switch to holding down R2 and press triangle, and you get that. Oh, another one of those, is it? And a lot of baby rages. See if I can lift you. Apparently, I'm interrupted. Oh, and for parrying projectiles, it's easily it's easiest done with the Osiris and that. Uh, Attack you see there, this is the circle attack. Come on. Let's kill this bastard. And now maybe I can get a few enemies to actually demonstrate power up or combos on, although I can do it on this guy. But um, since I'm commenting, I don't feel up to it because everything gets a little harder <laughs> while you're commentating. And these green slime balls can be destroyed to get health orbs. And there we got regular enemies. So basically, I can easily switch between each weapon's combos on the fly. I can even do stuff like um, there are combos with delays in them. Like this. If I delay there I get that. And usually just like this, that. But um, the combo system allows for pretty easy Manipulation of that, so I can instead of doing the swear delay move, I could do to and then switch to the gauntlet and get the gauntlet's delayed move, which you do like that. The regular is like this, which I've done a pretty few significant amount of times by now. There is also jump counseling which can help you extend your combos although it's not as important in this game as it is in the older games uh, there we have another rose so we're transporting back into Dante's mind I guess dream Dante, I don't think you understand what's at stake Where you unlock the new abilities.
I must say the graphics are pretty good. The level designs are gorgeous. Although sometimes the there are a few levels I have this is with which I bring up when I get to those levels. I don't mind the platforming. It's fun. It's better than in the previous DMC games. That's what the the, the platforming section there is where in those weren't very good. Uh, though although I don't feel an action game needs platforming. But it's nice with a break up to break up the pace once in a while. Um, yeah and this is where you get the boost move normally. The one you, you perform it by holding L2 and pressing the X button across I don't <sighs> so you boost here pull the platform and land on it so, and the demon, demon and angel moves also provide different dodge abilities like in the angel if you hold down L2 where, when you dodge you can do another dodge to move yourself and in demon mode mode if you do a very a perfect dodge you get a damage boost Speaking of flying rats, I so hated those in Grand Theft Auto 4. So, here we have the leg girl enemies, so maybe I can try and show you some jump counseling. Or rather, those are elite enemies, but. Uh, so basically, jump counseling you do an attack and then you press jump to do an enemy step so normally normally this attack brings you to the ground but you can do something like that although doing it multiple times in a row results in less stylish points so you should probably try and console it into other moves ah a witch this is annoying a witch and a rage now I'm going to get needles thrown at me shortly. Yeah. Uh, let's hit the rage so that she transports her shield. That worked out well. Get rid of the shield now. Since the rage isn't in view, his AI is only trying to get back in view before he attacks. Although, if he has started an attack and then I <laughs> remove him from the camera view, he will he will follow up with that attack. But then after that, he must get back into the camera view before he can move again. So now I unlocked On my way. the gates and we'll be able to proceed into the gateway. Silver Sachs Tower, the world's most powerful investment bank. And who runs it? CEO, Kyle Ryder, a human vessel, the physical manifestation of Mundus, the Demon King. Through debt, he controls everything. To Mundus, the world is a factory farm for human souls, and he likes to keep his animals monitored and docile. 
The monitoring is done by the Raptor News Corporation, a global network of CCTV cameras, satellites, and spies. The way he keeps us docile is uh, a little more insidious. What is it? It's in your hand. Planet Earth's most popular soft drink, Virility. The demons have spiked it. Ah, it's okay. It has no effect on us, only humans. It's lobotomy in a can. So what's the plan? That's the Hellgate. A conduit from which Mundus draws his power. While he's connected to the Hellgate, he's immortal. But we get him away from the Hellgate, and our swords will do the rest. So, how do we do that? We get his attention. Mundus is petty. He's impulsive. If we hit him where it hurts, let his anger rule him. I believe we can draw him out. Okay, so, to kill Mundus, we need to drag him away from the Hellgate. We do that by pissing him off. Roughly speaking, yes. And we piss him off by taking out the Raptor News Network and Virility. That's it. Which one do you want to do first? So, that was a pretty short mission. So, um, so the demons rule the world through media and any drinks, basically. Um, well, that was all for this episode, so see you next time.